Hello everyone, my name is Sanchiketa and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to discuss a very fundamental concept of the difference between a training, testing and validation data in machine learning and deep learning problems. This is a very fundamental concept. You can be asked about this in interviews, questions like, if you already have a training and testing data, what is the need for validation data? What could go terribly wrong if you don't have a validation data in your deep learning problems? And Basically, I'm going to explain the entire concept of why we need all these three when practicing machine learning. So watch this video till the end and I'm sure you're not going to have any doubts left. So for now, let's leave validation data away for now and let's just discuss about training and testing data. In machine learning problems, what happens is you have a lot of data and you're basically going to be using a machine learning model or a deep learning model. We're just going to learn something from the data. It could learn some patterns or it could just analyze the data to make future predictions. Now what can happen over here is that your model can learn some wrong features. So let's say you so let's say you're training a model that is able to identify whether there's a dog in the picture or not. So let's say your model has learned the feature that whenever there are four legs in the picture then that's going to be a dog when there are not then it's not a dog but that's a pretty wrong feature to learn right if it's a cat it's also going to have four legs if it's a lion it's also going to have four legs if there are two humans in the picture then also there are going to be four legs so in that case your model is going to give you wrong predictions so in training data if you give it lots of dogs to learn from then your model may give you 100 percent accuracy by even learning a wrong feature uh, so here's where the concept of testing data comes in that you take a portion of your training data and you keep it secretly hidden away until your model has finished training. Once the model has finished training and the model is confident that hey I've got a very good accuracy then you check the same on testing data. So if a model has overfit, if it has learned wrong features then it is not going to be able to perform well on testing data, right? For example, if in the testing data you had kept some images of cats, if you had kept some images of lions then your model would have performed very badly and you can say that yes my model has overfitted my model is not as good as i initially thought it to be so to prevent overfitting to create a generalized model you have a training and testing data now the question is that when this system of training and testing data is working so well why do you need something additional called as the validation data now this is primarily used in deep learning problems and not in machine learning problems so let me tell you what the problem would come up in machine learning the models are less complex they are very easy to train and the model training normally gets done in a matter of seconds however in deep learning you're gonna be dealing with millions of parameters and the model training can take even hours at a time so let's say you're training a neural network and it's taking an hour or two it has learned a million parameters and after it has finished training it has got let's say a 97 percent accuracy and then you check it on the testing data and the testing data accuracy was 45%. So now you realize that the model is terribly bad and then you have to go to retraining the model from scratch all over again. So that's a very bad approach to this problem, right? So what the solution to this is, so we create a training and testing data. Let's say you have 80% of the data as training and 20% as testing data. Out of this training data, you're gonna additionally take, let's say 10% and keep it as validation data. And just like the testing data, your validation data is also going to be kept locked away from your model and it's not going to be allowed to see it initially. So a neural network model is going to be using multiple iteration or what we also call as epochs. So in the first iteration itself, let's say your model got 70% accuracy and your validation accuracy was 35%. It's a very good indication that your model is doing something wrong. It will see this and before moving to the next iteration, it will correct itself and learn some different parameters. So by the time you're done with let's say 50 or 100 epochs, your model will try to perform good on the training data as well as the validation data. Now there's a much better chance that your model will also perform good on the testing data because it has already worked on unseen data pretty well before. So that is why we use validation data and in this way you can judge your model by looking at the training accuracy, validation accuracy as well as the testing accuracy. That basically helps you save a lot of time and resources. So that was all that you need to know about the training, testing and validation split. Hope this video was informative. If you did like it, do like this video and subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video.